women. Of CONCACAF. <laughs> Uh, from what I found, all 41 CONCACAF members are eligible to join in all CONCACAF tournaments. However, it's extremely hard to find information about women's national teams, especially in the Caribbean zone. Uh, for example, Bonaire, French Guiana, Saint Martin, and uh, Saint Martin are red in Wikipedia, meaning the page doesn't exist, for those of you that are anti-Wikipedia. I can't find out if these nations don't have a top women's football team, or if they do and they just haven't played official matches, uh, you know, for numbers to appear. But anyways, the earliest competition for the women of CONCACAF is the CONCACAF Women's Championship. And what I like about this is that the tournament is a direct World Cup qualifying process. And personally, I prefer a tournament to be a direct World Cup qualifier instead of having two different things, a, a tournament and then qualifiers. But it is what it is. So, only two tournaments were not involved in the World Cup qualifiers, and I'll get to them when I do. The first edition was in 1991. It was hosted in Haiti and had only eight nations participating. Joining Haiti was the North Zone, Costa Rica, Jamaica, Martinique, and Trinidad and Tobago. It was two groups of four with the top two going to the semis. And in the semis, the US would beat Haiti and Canada would beat Trinidad and Tobago. And in the final, the U.S. would beat Canada and become the first champion of CONCACAF for the women's division, as well as earn the CONCACAF ticket to the 1991 Women's World Cup. The 1993 edition was called the Women's Invitational Tournament. This one didn't serve for World Cup purposes as it was just a regional uh, tournament. It was a single table tournament involving the U.S., Canada, Trinidad and Tobago, and New Zealand, who was the invited nation. The team to finish on top of the table was champion, and that would be the US, who won all three of its matches. The 1994 edition was called the CONCACAF Women's Championship, and it served as a qualifier process for the 1995 Women's World Cup, in which CONCACAF was giving two spots. It was hosted by Canada, and it was also a single table tournament, joined by the US, Mexico, Trinidad and Tobago, and Jamaica. The U.S. won the tournament after finishing on top of the table, while Canada ended up as runner-up, meaning the U.S. and Canada qualified to that year's World Cup. The 1998 edition was hosted by Canada. It served as a qualifier for the 1999 World Cup, which was being hosted by the U.S., so they didn't have to participate in this tournament. There were qualifiers for this tournament specifically for the Central American nations and the Caribbean nations. Mexico was the only other automatic qualifying nation besides the host, Canada. Costa Rica, Guatemala, Haiti, Martinique, Puerto Rico, and Trinidad and Tobago would be the other nations to qualify for this tournament. The format was two groups of four in which the top two teams would go to the semis. There, Mexico would beat Guatemala and Canada would beat Costa Rica. And in the final, Canada won the tournament and automatically qualified to the World Cup. Mexico, as the runner-up of the tournament, had to face Argentina in an intercontinental playoff where Mexico won, making the 1999 World Cup the first time that three CONCACAF nations were present. And at the World Cup itself, both Canada and Mexico only played the group stage. Meanwhile, the US would win its second World Cup. The 2000 edition was rebranded, and the CONCACAF, it was called the CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup. This tournament was for regional purposes. It was hosted by the US. Brazil and China were guests for this tournament, while Trinidad and Tobago, Canada and Mexico all qualified automatically. Guatemala and Costa Rica qualified via a UNCAF qualifying tournament. Now the tournament itself had the same format as the last edition. And then, so basically stuff happened <laughs> in the group stage. And then in the semis, the US would beat Canada while Brazil would beat China. In the final, the US would win the tournament after beating Brazil. The 2002 edition was hosted by Canada and the US. The Caribbean zone and the Central American zone had separate qualifiers in which Haiti, Costa Rica, and Panama would qualify through. Mexico, Jamaica, and Trinidad Tobago got an automatic qualification alongside the hosts. This tournament served as a qualifying process for the 2003 Women's World Cup. It followed the same format as the last edition. So then, after the group stage, in the semis, Canada beat Mexico and the US beat Costa Rica. In the final, the US won the tournament and Canada ended up as runner-up, giving both nations the qualifications. However, 
Later on, the US would end up hosting the World Cup tournament as China had an outbreak of SARS, forfeiting their host rights. Mexico, who ended up in third place, faced Japan in an intercontinental playoff match. Mexico would fail to qualify. At the World Cup itself, the US would end up in third place, while Canada would end in fourth. Imagine being Canada right now. The 2006 edition was hosted by the US, and it also served as qualifier process for the 2007 Women's World Cup. CONCACAF did something freaky with this tournament. The tournament itself only consisted of six teams. Mexico and Panama qualified via a NAFC slash UNCAF qualifying process, while Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica qualified via a rigorous Caribbean qualifying process. The US and Canada were automatically entered, into the semifinals of the Gold Cup. Yeah, so in the first round of the Gold Cup, Trinidad and Tobago would beat Panama and Mexico would beat Jamaica. Then in the semis, Canada would beat Jamaica while the US would beat Mexico. Then in the final, the US would beat Canada once again while Mexico would take the third place. Both the US and Canada would qualify to the World Cup while Mexico would once again fail to qualify after losing again to Japan in an intercontinental playoff match. The 2010 edition was literally called the CONCACAF Women's World Cup Qualifying, as it served for the 2011 Women's World Cup. It was hosted by Mexico. The North Zone gained automatic qualification, while Guatemala and Costa Rica qualified via the World Cup qualifiers of the UNCAF Zone, Trinidad Tobago, Haiti, and Guyana qualified via the World Cup qualifiers of the Caribbean zone. The format returned to two groups of four, with the top two of each group going to the semifinals. There, Mexico would beat the US, while Canada would beat Costa Rica. And in the final, Canada would win after beating Mexico, who would end in second, meaning both these nations qualified to the World Cup. The US ended in third and faced Italy in an intercontinental playoff, where the US would defeat them and qualify to the 2011 World Cup. The 2014 edition was rebranded into the CONCACAF Women's Championship. It was hosted by the US and it served as a qualifying process for the 2015 Women's World Cup, which was being hosted by Canada, meaning Canada did not need to participate in the CONCACAF tournament as it already automatically qualified to the World Cup as host. So also CONCACAF was given three spots and one inter intercontinental playoff match. The US and Mexico got automatic qualification into the CONCACAF tournament. Costa Rica and Guatemala qualified via a qualifying process. Haiti, Jamaica, Martinique, and Trinidad Tobago qualified via the inaugural Women's Caribbean Cup. The CONCACAF tournament itself had the same format as the last edition. So then in the semis, Costa Rica would beat Trinidad and Tobago while the US would beat Mexico. In the final, the US would win the tournament after beating Costa Rica. Both nations would automatically qualify to the World Cup. Mexico would beat Trinidad Tobago in third place, meaning Mexico qualified for the World Cup, while Trinidad Tobago would face Ecuador in an intercontinental playoff. Unfortunately, Trinidad and Tobago failed to win. The 2018 edition was hosted by the US, and it served as the 2019 World Cup qualifiers. The North Zone got automatic qualification, while Costa Rica Panama qualified via a qualification process. Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and Cuba qualified via the Caribbean Cup. The format was the same as the last edition. In the semis, Canada beat Panama, while the US would beat Jamaica. In the final, the US would beat Canada. Both would qualify to the World Cup. Jamaica would beat Panama, meaning Jamaica would get the third automatic qualification to the World Cup, while Panama would face Argentina in an intercontinental playoff match, where Panama unfortunately lost. The latest edition was the 2002 edition, and it was rebranded as CONCACAF W Championship. I don't know why they just took off the word women and just left the W. It was hosted by Mexico, and it served not only as a qualifying process for the 2023 Women's World Cup, but it also served as the qualifying process for the 2024 Olympics and the inaugural 2024 CONCACAF W Gold Cup. So this tournament was actually like big, big. The US and Canada got automatic qualification to this tournament. Mexico, Jamaica, Costa Rica, Panama, Haiti, and Trinidad and Tobago all qualified via a qualifying process, which I don't get how Mexico had to be 
you know go through a qualification process if they were hosting it it is what it is uh the tournament followed the same format as the last edition so since CONCACAF was awarded four assured spots for the 2023 world cup with two more nations going to an intercontinental playoff tournament the top two teams of each group would qualify to the World Cup, while the third place of each group would go to the Intercontinental Playoff Tournament. These World Cup tickets would go to the US, Jamaica, Canada, and Costa Rica. For the CONCACAF Tournament, in the semifinals, the US would beat Costa Rica and Canada would beat Jamaica. The US would beat Canada, earning a direct qualification to the 2024 Olympics as well as direct qualification to the inaugural CONCACAF W Gold Cup. Jamaica would beat Costa Rica in the third place match, meaning that Canada as runner-ups of CONCACAF W Championship and Jamaica will have an Olympic playoff match to determine the second CONCACAF team to go to the 2024 Olympics and determine the second nation to qualify to the 2024 <laughs> CONCACAF W Gold Cup. I know, I got... I got I got uh, my brain. Anyways. <clears throat> For ending in third place of their respective groups of the CONCACAF W Championship, Haiti and Panama had to play a intercontinental playoff mini tournament that was divided into three individual brackets. Haiti played Senegal and defeated them and went on to the final to face Chile, in which they also defeated them as well, giving Haiti a ticket to the World Cup. The other nation, Panama, beat Papua New, uh, Papua, Papua, sorry, Papua New Guinea in, its, in the semifinals and then beat Paraguay in the final, earning their ticket to the World Cup. Meaning for the 2023 Women's World Cup, there is going to be six CONCACAF nations. Dang. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the greater picture of the women's division in CONCACAF. Uh, lots of new stuff coming up soon as well. So the CONCACAF women's divisions are creating their own history. And it's actually starting to, you know, like, get really exciting. But now I have to turn the attention to the boring part. I got to talk about the people who have been the head of CONCACAF and the defunct tournaments. 